Hi, welcome everyone. My name is Irene Doherty, and this is today's yoga practice. Um, some things that might be helpful for you during the practice might be some props, and they don't have to be traditional props like this, but uh, a strap might come in handy. Uh, you can also use a belt or a tie, something like that. Some kind of block or harder surface to lift yourself up, a blanket, and then you always have an option to use the chair. The chair is one of my favorite yoga props. And you can even begin in the chair. So uh, as we begin to take our seat here, um, you can take a seat on the floor and you can sit the way that I'm sitting, Sukhasana. You can sit on your shins or you can sit in a chair or on a couch, whatever piece of furniture you might have available for you in your space right now. So as we settle into our seat, take a moment and reach behind you and move the muscles of the glutes, the buttocks out of the way. And then let the arms hang heavy by the sides. Bend the elbows so the hands come to rest on the thighs, allowing the elbows to hang heavy by the side of the rib cage. Lifting up tall through the spine, allowing the lower body to soften, set your gaze. It might feel good to close the eyes. And if you do, maybe you have a little internal gaze up towards the third eye center. It might be comfortable for you to keep the eyes open and then gaze down the tip of the nose, looking through the eyelashes. And start to become aware of your physical body. Feel your body sitting on the earth. Become aware of your whole body. Whole body. And turning your attention now to the breath. Do nothing to change or direct the breath. Simply notice that you're breathing. Feel the breath rhythmically moving the body from the inside out. And in this breath space, become aware of any emotions that may be present. Allow your mind to identify, to name the emotion without traveling into the story that's surrounding it. Through your physical body, the breath and emotions. Feel the you that is energy. Become aware that you have a frequency. You have a vibration. Experience yourself as energy. And now 
Begin to draw your mind back into your body and become aware of your intention. Yoga is a practice of connectivity. What is it that you desire to connect with? Peace, clarity, strength. Choose one of these intentions, one of these words that resonates most with you in this moment. And then repeat the word three times in your mind, repeating it with feeling and emphasis. And now holding in your heart center and your mind's eye, all the sages and yogis of India who so carefully carried these teachings throughout thousands of years to then gift these teachings to the world so that we can be right here, right now. May this sacred South Asian practice guide us back to our roots, our ancestors, and help us find our place of belonging in this world. Bringing the palms together at heart center, palm to palm, heart to thumbs, Anjali Mudra. This is the hand position that we can create that helps guide us back into our center, back to our roots. Take a deep breath in through the nose, fill up the belly, the rib cage, the chest, and then open the mouth to exhale. Again, big breath in. Fill the lungs up. At the top of this inhale, hold the breath for just a moment. Open mouth, exhale. One more deep cleansing breath. Big inhale from belly to chest. Hold the breath in and then sip in a tiny bit more. Open the mouth to release. Gently allowing the hands to settle back on the legs, lower the chin to the chest, and very gently blink the eyes open, lifting the gaze. So we're gonna shift out of our seat. I'm gonna shift my chair out of the way for now. And we're gonna come on to knees. Now I happen to be on a carpet, so I don't need any padding, any additional padding underneath my knees, but you may like to have a blanket underneath your knees if you're on a hard surface. You may even like to have a blanket underneath your palms to help soften and cushion the wrist joints. Placing the palms underneath the shoulders, spread the fingers, not too much, not too little, and then stacking the knees right underneath the hips, Tuck the toes under. With an inhale, we're gonna root the arms down, root the feet down into the earth, lift the tail and reach the heart forward. As the heart reaches forward, drawing shoulder blades back towards the hips. As we exhale, flatten the feet, tuck the tailbone, scoop the belly up, pull the navel up tight, let the head go and really lengthen through the arms, pressing through arms and legs. Inhale, tuck the toes, lift the tailbone, reaching the heart forward. Exhale, flatten the feet, scooping the belly up, engaging through arms, hands, legs, and feet. Cat cow. Continue and begin to find your rhythm of breath and then synchronizing the movement to the rhythm of breath. So allowing that Inhale to initiate the movement into cow pose. Allowing the exhale to initiate the movement into cat pose. Breathing deeply. In and out of the nose. 
Few more rounds of cat cow. Keep the toes spreading. We'll take one more inhale into cow. And then with our next exhale, we'll scoop through that cat pose and reach the hips back towards the heels for child's pose. Once the hips are back, lift and lengthen the front body, walk the hands forward and release down. You might place a block underneath your forehead. You might place a blanket at the back of the knees to help cushion the joints of the lower body. Allow the arms to spread towards the front of the mat, lifting the elbows up off the floor. They can bend, but lift them from the floor. Three deep breaths here. Inhale, fill up the belly, the rib cage, the chest, Exhale, empty the chest, the rib cage, the belly. Draw navel center in and up. Two more, inhale, filling up from the belly to the chest. Exhale, empty from the chest to the belly. One more full round of breath, just like this. With our next inhale, press into the shins, lift up through the hips, coming back into our tabletop. So we'll need to walk the hands back again so the wrists line up underneath the shoulders. Leaving the feet flat now, inhale into cow pose, lifting the tailbone, reaching the chest forward as shoulders hump back. Exhale, scoop through cat, reach the hips back, but keep the hands exactly where they are, not quite sitting on the heels, if that's accessible to you. Inhale, root into the shins, back up, inhaling into cow. Exhale, reaching back through the hips, soft through the neck. Inhale, lifting up, hug shoulder blades to hips. Exhale. Stretching the hips back, keep the elbows lifted. I'd go through three more of these, moving rhythmically with the breath, breathing through the nose, and allowing the breath to initiate the movement. And as we continue to move about two more of these, can we keep the hands, the palms and fingertips engaged with the floor, the earth? Can we keep our feet and shins engaged with the earth? And one more, inhale into cow. Exhale, tuck the toes. We're gonna lift the hips towards downward facing dog. Keep a really deep bend in the knees though. We're just gonna rock on the ball mounds of the feet, stretch the hips back as far as what's comfortable. And then as we inhale, lower the knees once again, coming back into cow pose. We'll keep the toes tucked for this. Tailbone lifts, heart reaches forward as shoulders hug to the hips. Exhale, little bit of cat in the spine, curling up. Pull the belly back, keep a real deep bend in those knees. Stretching the hips back. Inhale, keep the belly engaged as we lower knees to earth, cow pose. Exhale, curl through the spine and then use the belly, use the thighs to lift the hips back. Inhale, gently place the knees back down. We're in cow pose. Got a few more of these. Letting the breath initiate the movement. Engaging the fingertips, and especially when we lift the hips back. This is a lot of work for the wrists. 
It's much safer for the wrists when we keep our hands and our fingers engaged as well. Let's take one more full round of this, inhaling into cow, exhaling into this downward facing dog with deep, deep bent knees, and then stay here, and then straighten your legs, lift high on your tippy toes, as high as you can, let the head hang and relax, and then as you exhale, release the heels towards the earth. Take a big breath in, and a big breath out, hugging navel center to spine. With that next inhale, we're gonna place the knees back to the earth and lift up onto the knees. So we're standing on our knees now. We'll keep the toes tucked. That might feel good in your feet. It might feel better in your body to have the feet flat. So go ahead and try those two options and then make the choice. Listen to what your body is telling you. All the sensations that we feel is our body's way of communicating with us. So we're gonna bring our hands to interlace behind the back and this is a good place where the strap could come in handy because you can have a little more space as we open up the front of the chest. Root down through the feet, no matter how you have them, root them down, inhale, lift the chest up, drawing shoulder blades together and towards the hips. As we exhale, we're gonna fold forward, not going down very far at all, lift the arms away from the back. Inhale, root through the feet, the legs to lift up, Exhale, bowing down, keeping the front body long as we bow down. And inhale, lifting up. Exhale, bowing down. Lengthening through the tailbone, softening through the neck. Let your breath dictate the speed and rhythm of your movement. The slower we go with our movements, the more refined we can make the movements, the more body gets involved. We actually fire more nerves, more soft tissue when we go slow. And the slower we go, the more challenging it is for the mind. Now let's take one more of these. Inhale, lifting up through the chest. Exhale, bowing down. With the next inhale, we'll lift up to stand on our knees and release the arms, release the strap if that's what you have. Blocks can come in handy now, maybe keeping them towards the front of our mat. We're gonna step our right foot forward, coming into a low lunge, lining up that heel directly underneath the knee, Maybe you've got some blocks or props under the hands. With the left leg tucked, lift the knee and stretch through the legs. Roll the shoulders a little bit, give a little roll through the neck, keeping them soft and supple, really engage through this thigh, and lift through the back of the knee. And then just rock a little bit on the ball mound of the foot, forward and back, giving an extra stretch through the Achilles tendon. Sole of the foot. Good. Then with that next inhale, lift the chest as much as you can, engage that left leg and press the right heel into the floor. Big breath in, filling up from belly to chest. Exhale, empty from chest to belly. One more. And then we'll place that left knee down, bring the right leg back, and sway the hips from side to side. And then engage the belly, draw the navel center up to the spine, and from there, lift this left leg and bring it forward. Finding the place where you can really feel this left heel, standing the heel underneath the knee. The right toes are tucked, engage the right leg and lift the knee, extend it long. Engage the front of the thigh, engage the back of the knee and reach that chest forward. Again, it might be helpful to roll through the shoulders and neck a little bit. 
making sure that they're nice and soft. And then continue to press through that left heel as you gently rock through the ball mound of that right foot. Feeling that sensation through the back of the leg, through the ankle and the heel, and just noticing. Is our body's way of communicating with us, letting us know how we're really doing and giving us information. All right, let's find our uh, three deep breaths here. Lift the chest up as much as you can. Press into the left heel and lift the right leg. Big breath in, filling up from belly to uh, collarbones. Exhale from collarbones to belly. Good, two more deep, full yogic breaths. Pulling that navel center in on the bottom of each exhale. One more. And now we're gonna rock a bit more on this right foot and step to the front of our mats, forward fold. Wrap the hands to the calf muscles, bend the knees as much as you need to lengthen out the spine and draw the belly down to the thighs. Let the head go, give it a little shake, but don't let the shoulders go. Engage the upper back, Gently draw those shoulder blades to the hips. Rock just a tiny bit more onto the ball mound of those feet. Lift and spread the toes. Take one more deep breath in. And then the deepest breath out you can take. Exhale, 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 exhale. When you think you're done exhaling, exhale more. Inhale, half lift. Arda. Uttanasana, hands to the shins, lifting the tailbone, reaching the heart forward. Take another deep breath in here. Exhale, bring palms to heart center. Bend the knees as much as you need. And now with our next inhale, root through the heels, come all the way up to stand. Take a deep breath in. Open the mouth and let it go. Releasing the arms down by the sides, turn the palms in and gently roll the shoulder blades back and down. Maybe step a few times in your place, engaging your feet to the earth. Lift and spread the toes and then relax the toes back down. With our next sweep the arms forward and up. Lift the heart, lift the gaze. As we exhale, draw hands to heart center. Inhale, reach those arms straight up, lifting the rib cage out of the waist. Exhale, release the arms back down, forward and down. Two more like that. Inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach arms straight up. Exhale, arms forward and down. But one more. Inhale, sweeping up. Lift the heart, the gaze. Exhale, draw that energy back down into the heart center. Inhale, send that energy back up. Exhale, releasing arms back to the side. Take a moment and pause. With the next inhale, sweep the arms out and up now. Lifting heart, lifting gaze. Exhale, release the arms back down by the sides. Two more of those. Inhale, reaching up, lifting long through the whole body. Exhale, releasing down. Good. One more. Inhale, sweeping up. Exhale, sweeping down. Pause for a moment. And feel. Bringing the palms back to heart center. We're going to step the right foot back. Coming into Virabhadrasana 1. Warrior 1. 
So adjusting your stand however you need, maybe taking some space between the this left foot can walk off to the left. Press down through that heel and then find where that knee, that knee is in a good place when you can really press down into the heel. And the right toes are turned to the right just a tiny bit, not too much. Both sides of the hips are pointing forward. Pull up in the belly. We're going to reach the arms down by the sides. And now straighten the front leg. Engage through the thighs. Lift and spread the toes on both feet. With our next inhale, bend through the front knee, warrior one. Lift the arms, the heart, the gaze simultaneously. And then press through that left heel as we exhale to straighten the leg, release the arms back down by the sides. Inhale, shifting into warrior one. Keep lengthening through the right leg. Exhale, use that left heel to straighten. Release the arms down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, releasing out. We're gonna add some cactus arms to this. Inhale, warrior one, pause. Exhale, cactus the arms, drawing shoulder blades down. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, root through the left heel to release out. Two more of those. Inhale, warrior one. Engage the right leg. Pause. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, lengthen up. Pause. Exhale, release out. And one more. Inhale. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, lengthen through the arms, pause. Exhale, release out. With our inhale, we're gonna to step to the front of our mat, sweep both arms up. As we exhale, draw the hands through the center of the body, folding forward, hands to calf muscles. Let the head go, but engage the upper back. With the next inhale, hands come to the shins, lift halfway, Arda. Exhale, folding. Bend through the knees, root through the heels and the legs, inhaling ourselves all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Gaze down the tip of the nose, take a deep breath in, open the mouth and let it go. Stepping our left foot back, so bending that front knee, taking a moment to find and fine tune our stance because it's going to shift and change over our practice. So the knees, when we can really use the right heel and those left toes, they're turned out just a little bit, not too much. You want to help keeping the, the hip to come forward. Lift up in the low belly, root down through that right heel and extend through the back leg. We're gonna release the arms down by the sides and then straighten the right leg, preparing. With our inhale, simultaneously bend that right knee and lift the arms up, lift the heart to gaze, warrior one. As we exhale, press into the right heel to lengthen the legs as the arms lower down. Inhale, bending through the knee, lifting up through the arms, the arms. Strong through the left leg. Inhale, reaching. Pause. Exhale, release out. And one more. Inhale. One. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, reaching. Exhale, coming out. Lifting off of the back leg, come to the front of your mat, big inhale, sweep both arms up. Exhale, hands through the center of the body as we fold forward, release the head. Inhale, lift and lengthen that spine halfway, shoulders hug to the hips. Exhale, fold again, releasing the head, but not the shoulders. 
Bend through the knees, power through those heels to inhale yourself all the way up. Exhale, release hands to heart center. Gaze down the nose, take a deep breath in. Open the mouth and let it go. Inhale, sweep those arms forward and up. Exhale, forward folding. Draw belly to thighs, hands to calf muscles. Inhale, half lift with the torso, reaching through the heart center. And then we're going to place our hands down either on our blocks, maybe on the floor, and step the right foot back, coming into our low lunge. So adjust the feet. So you can really root down through this left heel. Inhale, lengthen the chest, and then take that right knee and bring it down to the floor. You can pad underneath it. We're going to keep the right hand on the block on the floor and left arm straight forward at a little bit of an angle. So it's at a nice long line with the rest of the torso. Take a big inhale here. And then as we exhale, we're going to pull, keep the arm really close to the body and pull the arm back, kind of like you're, you're trying to um, uh, get to your armpit. And we're twisting, pulling in the rib cage. Inhale, extend the arm forward. Exhale, draw the arm back, keep it close to the body as we twist to the left. And inhale, extending forward. Exhale, draw the arm back. And let the arm be a guide for the rib cage. But the rib cage is what's really twisting here. Good. Three more. Inhale, reach forward. Exhale, draw back. Legs are strong. Back toes can be tucked, they can be flat. Two more. Letting your breath initiate your movement. Good, last one, being mindful not to sink down into the right arm. Use more leg to hold yourself up. Now from here, keep the arm back and extend the arm now, open the elbow. Big breath in, fill up from belly to collarbones. Exhale, empty from collarbones to belly. One more deep breath like this. And with our next inhale, sweep that arm forward and release it down to the floor, to the block. Tuck the right toes under and lift the knee. Rock on the ball mound of the foot. Step into the front of your mat. Forward fold. Inhale, half lift in the torso. Lengthen through the tailbone. Lift in the front body. Exhale, forward folding. One more. Inhale to lift halfway, preparing. Hands come to those blocks again, maybe the floor. And this time the left foot steps back. Take a moment in your low lunge. Find the proper spacing in your leg, feeling this right heel connected down to the earth. Lengthen the whole body. And then release that left knee down to the earth. Back toes can stay tucked or go. We're going to keep our left hand now on the block or the earth. And we're going to reach the right arm forward, lifting in the torso. <clears throat> Press firmly through that right heel. Take a big inhale. And let your exhale lead you into the twist, pulling that right arm back like you're uh, trying to reach for your armpit. And then inhale, unwind the twist, reaching forward. Exhale, let the arm lead the rib cage to the right. Inhale, reaching forward. Good, three more of these. Being mindful not to sink down into this left arm, but instead lift. Really strong through the legs here. Spiraling that rib cage around. Last one. And for this one, stay in the twist and then extend through that right arm. Take a big breath in, filling up belly to collarbones. 
Exhale, collarbones to belly. Add one more big breath here. Keep pressing into this right heel. When that next inhale comes, reach the arm forward, get long through the torso, and take that arm down. Tucking the left toes, lift the knee, and step to the front of your mat, forward folding. Inhale, half lift in the torso, long through the spine. Exhale, fold again. Bit of a bend through the knees, root through the heels, and use the legs to come all the way up. Inhale, exhale, draw hands to heart center. Take a deep breath in. Open the mouth and let it go. Releasing the arms down by the sides. Feel, feeling your feet connected to the earth, your whole body connected. Remember that intention. Remember what you are connecting to in this practice today. Again, repeat your intention three times in the mind. Letting the intention vibrate throughout the whole body. Take a deep breath in. Open the mouth and let it go. You can sweep your arms forward and up. You can sweep your arms out and up, whichever your shoulders prefer in this moment. Inhale, lifting up. Lift the heart, lift the gaze. Exhale, gently cactus those arms open. Inhale, reaching tall. Grab a hold of that right wrist with your left hand and reach that right arm up to the sky and then exhale over into a side body stretch. So the gaze, the gaze can be down towards the floor, out to the horizon. Maybe you're gazing up towards or through past that right arm. Inhale, lift up, let the breath fill you up from the inside and then exhale. As you draw the belly in, root down more through your legs. And one more full breath here. And then keep that belly engaged. Use that active abdomen to bring yourself back up to center and we'll switch arms. Let that right hand grab a hold of the left wrist. Lift the arm up to the sky and then exhale over, side body stretch. Find the position that works best for your neck in this moment. The shoulders are soft while the arms are engaging. Big inhale, filling yourself up from belly to collarbones. Exhale, empty. Let the inhale stretch you. And let the exhale ground you. One more full breath here. And at the end of this exhale, keep the belly engaged. Let that engaged belly lift you back to center. Exhale, releasing the arms back to the sides. Take a deep breath in. Open the mouth, let it go. All right, we're going to come to sit now. So sitting long ways on your mat might be a nice option. We're gonna extend our legs out wide here. So if the low back and the pelvis are tight, uh, if the legs are tight, we tend to round in, in the spine, create that cat shape, but we wanna keep moving towards that cow shape if that's happening, just so we can find our way back to center. So it might be very helpful to put a lift underneath your hips. When we put a little lift underneath our hips, you wanna sit right on the edge, just about like you were just about to fall off. It helps to give the pelvis some space. 
Then I'll open the legs however it's comfortable for you. And there's always options you can place um, additional pillows, blankets, blocks underneath the knees to support yourself. Let's take our hands behind the back, rolling the shoulders back, opening the front of the body, stretch it out through the feet, engage the legs, pressing the thighs, engaging them down to the earth, and then lengthening out through the heels. Spread the toes, gaze down the tip of the nose, three deep yoga, three deep yogi breaths. Inhale, fill up, belly, rib cage, collarbones, exhale, collarbones, rib cage, belly. Pull the navel center in. Two more rounds of breath. And for this last round of breath, really be aware of the pause. Inhale, fill up, pause. Exhale, empty, pause. And then we'll release our hands, scoop underneath the left knee from the inside and draw that leg in. Draw the leg in towards the groin, wherever it's comfortable. It can be wider, it can be closer. And then if this knee is kind of up in the air, Give it some support, give it some earth, right? That's what these props represent for us, that an element of earth. And this way we can engage the leg down, keeping the knee connected. With the fingertips right in front of us, lift through the spine. Keep extending long through the right leg here. Lift tall through the spine. And as we exhale, slowly start to fold. Now, if you notice that you're folding by rounding in the spine, then Come back a little bit, lengthen the front of the body and keep leading with the belly. Keep leading with the front of the pelvis in the fold, not leading with the chin or the forehead. And if you have the space in your body, you can always come down onto the forearms as well. Take a moment and let your mind scan through your physical body, feeling this posture, feeling this shape. Noticing what sensations arise because we've taken this shape. Not to judge them or tell a story about them. Just having awareness. Our mind is so quick to respond to physical sensations with thought, with story, with judgment. Instead, practice responding with the breath. Allow your breath to be gentle through the nose. And allowing your breath to be the response to the sensations that you feel. Softening the jaw. Responding with breath. And we'll take our final three breaths here. Deepen the breaths. Fill yourself up with the inhale. Empty yourself with the exhale. And our final breath, a cleansing one. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And slowly. Walking the hands back towards you, engage the navel center to lift the torso up. And we'll scoop now from the inside, underneath that right leg, bringing the right leg in and extending the left leg out now. Readjust your seat if you need. And again, 
if there's space between this knee and the floor, then fill that space with a pillow, a blanket, a block. Engage along through the left leg. Take the hands in front of you again. Take a big to lift long through the spine and then slowly start to fold. So the moment we start to feel our spine rounding, we know that that's our edge. That's our place to dance with. It has nothing to do with what the posture might look like, but it has everything to do with how you're feeling, what's going on for you, and then how do you choose to respond to that? Maybe closing down the eyes. Take a moment and allow your mind to scan through your body. Noticing what this shape feels like in your body and what sensations begin to wake up because you've taken this shape. Noticing how fast the mind can be to start telling us about the sensations we feel. And instead, using this time to practice responding with our breath. A soft, gentle breath in and out of the nose. Allowing the sensations to be present. Allowing them to rise up to the surface so they can do what they need. And all we offer is the breath. No judgment, no story, just breath. Feeling sensation, responding with breath. Taking our final three breaths here, big inhales, stretching the lungs, strong exhales, emptying completely. Our final breath, a cleansing one, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Draw navel center to the spine, slowly walk the hands up, lifting the torso and scooping underneath the left leg, bringing the legs in. Have the feet on the floor, they can be together, they can be wide. And then wrapping the arms around the legs, releasing the head down. So now we are curl curling our spine like cat pose. Take three deep, full yogi breaths. And this time, track the breath in the back of the body a little bit more than the front of the body. So filling up from the low back, the mid back, to the upper back. Exhale, upper back, mid back, low back. One more full breath. Engaging through the navel center to gently uncurl the spine. And we're going to come to lie down on our backs now. Uh, not quite settling into Shavasana just yet, but uh, have some props handy for that. We're going to come into a bridge pose. And uh, so I'm going to. I'm going to practice this pose with my strap because I have it, um, and it's one of my favorite ways to practice this posture. So if you have a strap, you can absolutely use this. If you don't have one, you don't need that either. But if you've got your strap, place it across the top of your ankles, and we're going to slowly come to roll down onto our back. Now, make sure you don't, if you've got ponytails or clips or headbands or anything, you'll want to pull those out of the way, making sure that you're up. 
the back of your skull is nice and flat on the floor. And walk your feet in close towards the hips, reaching the arms down by the sides. Now, if you've got your strap around your ankles, then go ahead and, and grab in your hands either end of the straps. If you don't have the straps, just press the palms onto the floor. Engage the shoulder blades down to the floor. Take a nice deep breath in. And as we exhale, we're gonna lift the hips up, press into the heels. And once we lift up, we might be able to tuck the shoulders underneath us just a little bit more. So keeping the head nice and straight, not turning the head, but neck is relaxed. Gaze down the tip of the nose, take three full yogic breaths. Watching the breath as it travels up. And watching the breath as it travels down. Two more. Last one. Inhale, filling up from belly to collarbones. Exhale from collarbones to belly. Good. Let's take one more big inhale, filling up. And then exhale, empty the lungs. Pull the navel center in. Keep the breath out as you roll down. Once you're down, let the breath flood into the lungs. If you have a strap, simply move it off to the side. Open the feet up the width of the mat. Arms can extend out into a T. They can come into a cactus shape. Take an inhale. And as we exhale, gently lower the knees over to the left. Pause. Engage the navel center. Inhale, the knees back to center. Exhale, knees over to the right. Pause. Using the navel center, inhale, knees back up. Exhale, over to the left. Pause. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Pause. Inhale, center. Using the belly to move the legs. Exhale to the left. Now a deeper pause heel. We'll stay here for a few breaths. If you like more sensation, you can take that left leg and cross it on top of that right knee, drawing it down. Take one more full breath here. And then releasing that left foot if you have it hooked from the navel center, inhale, knees back up, exhale over to the right. Long pause, maybe adding a little more sensation by taking that right knee and placing it on top of the left thigh. Gentle breathing through the nose. Noticing maybe how the breath helps to deepen this posture. One more full breath. Make it a cleansing one. <sighs> Releasing the right foot if you have it hooked. Engage the navel center, bringing the knees back up. Hug the knees into the body. You might like to rock a little bit, even just tiny little movements through the hips. You might like to rock along the spine. If the spine is healthy, nothing going on in there, and never roll back. And then in the next few moments, begin to stretch yourself out for Shavasana, corpse pose. You can simply lie flat on it might be helpful to have a little lift under the knees, a little lift underneath the head. You might like to cover yourself with a blanket.
come to rest. Come to this pose of completion, Shavasana, corpse pose. Do nothing with your body, do nothing with your mind, simply be. allowing the practice to take over the effort, the focus of the mind is no longer needed. Sink deeper and deeper into stillness. Be coming aware of your physical body. Become aware of your body 
lying on the earth. Become aware of your whole body, whole body. Begin to deepen the breath. And as you deepen the breath, call upon the intention that you planted for yourself at the beginning of practice. Again, repeat that word three times in the mind, breathing its energy and vibration into every cell of your body. And as you feel ready, slowly begin to wiggle fingers and toes, begin to roll the head from side to side. These little movements make way to larger movements. And all of these movements eventually taking us into the fetal position, come to lie on either side, using your bottom arm or a prop as a pillow, curl the knees into the belly and rest here. From corpse pose, to fetal position. Take a deep breath in, open the mouth and let it go. Roll the body a little bit more towards the floor and whichever is your top hand, press that into the floor to slowly peel your body up, the head being the last body part to lift. Keeping the eyes soft or maybe even closed, reestablish your seat. The seat can be down on the floor. The seat can be on a piece of furniture. If you're sitting in a chair or a piece of furniture, just making sure that the soles of our feet are connected to the earth. I'm going to take a few rounds of alternate nostril breathing. So the left hand, and I'm not going to be mirroring you guys in this, so take your left hand and find Gyan Mudra. Point your finger and thumb, come to touch. This hand can rest up or down on the leg. You can also take that left hand and tuck it under your right armpit, and it acts as a bit of a shelf. So if your right shoulder needs that support, please give it to it. We'll take our thumb on our right hand and our ring finger on our right hand. Bow down the pointer in the middle finger and bring the thumb to the right nostril. The ring finger is on the left nostril. If this is uh, a little much for the hand, then we can take the pointer and middle finger, our peace fingers, and bring them to the third eye center. So right thumb on the right nostril, right ring finger on the left nostril. Take a deep breath in through both nostrils. Draw that breath up to the third eye center, between and a little bit above the eyebrows. And then open the mouth, let this one go. Now, pinch the right nostril closed. With the thumb, inhale, left nostril. Drawing the breath up to that third eye center. Pause and switch the fingers. Close the right nostril, open the right side, and exhale. Inhale, right nostril. Drawing breath to third eye center. Pause to switch the fingers, closing right nostril, exhale left. That would be one complete round. Inhale, left nostril. Up to third eye center, pause. Switch the fingers. Exhale, right nostril. Inhale, right nostril to third eye center. Pause, switch fingers, exhale left. Inhale left. Pause, switching the fingers, exhale right. Inhale right. 
pause, switch the fingers, exhale left. Keep this rhythm of breathing going. Each inhale, drawing that breath up to third eye center before pausing to switch the fingers. Slow, deep breathing, alternating nostrils. Drawing each inhale up into the third eye center. The next time you complete an exhale out that left nostril, you'll finish. Take your time to get there. When you are complete with this practice, release the hands back to the legs. Either closing down the eyes or bringing the gaze about six inches in front of you. Allow the breath to move at its own natural pace. Feel your physical body, whole body. Become aware that you are connected to the earth. Experience the pause. The pause in the physical body. The pause that's present in the breath between each inhale and exhale. When your next inhale is ready to come, let it fill yourself up completely. Open the mouth to exhale. Bringing our palms together in Anjali Mudra, palm to palm at the heart center. Lifting our hearts to meet the thumbs. We'll seal in our practice this morning with a mantra Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Om being the universal vibration that penetrates everything. It's not a word really, but a sound, a frequency. And Shanti, the frequency of peace. 
Feel free to chant along with me. Feel free to listen. Deep breath in. Empty the lungs. Inhale to sing. Om Shanti 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 Lifting your heart, bowing the head. Take this moment to send yourself gratitude. Gratitude for showing up to this practice. Sending out gratitude to everyone who in this moment is also practicing yoga, the sacred connectivity. Sending gratitude out to the sages and yogis, to all the teachers, past, present, and future. Gratitude for carrying and sharing the sacred practice with honor. And for you, take everything from this class that serves you. Leave behind anything that does not. And may the work we started today continue on for your highest good and healing. Thank you. Oh, thank you everyone. Thank you so much for practicing with my very first YouTube video. Uh, please, if this practice resonates with you, I ask for your support. Venmo is wonderful. You can find out all of these options and more, individualized instructions, courses, on my website, irenedarty.com. Have a beautiful day.